A new report from the state police shows an increase in the number of bicyclists who were struck by a vehicle in the past five years. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. With more people choosing to ride their bike for exercise, transportation, or just for fun, the city of Lansing is working to raise awareness about bike safety laws. Now, those laws are meant to protect bicyclists, people walking, and drivers. News 10 tonight, Jordan spoke to Lansing's Public Service Director on how the new state police report highlights a growing concern for bike safety right here in mid Michigan. Tonight, David, I'm here at McGuire Park in Lansing where a lot of people come to ride their bikes. There's a river trail to ride along and a bike safety station equipped with tools and an air pump to keep your bike riding smoothly. With Michigan reporting its fourth highest year for bicyclists struck by drivers, Michigan is raising awareness on bike safety to prevent future accidents. We are definitely not seeing a decrease, and that's what we want to see. On Tuesday, Michigan State Police released its year-end report, highlighting the fourth year in a row that the number of bicycle versus car incidents in Michigan has not gone down. So we need to look at the reasons why they're not decreasing. Lansing's Public Service Director Andrew Kilpatrick says more bike lanes and more signage has helped reduce the number of bike versus car fatalities in Michigan, but says the overall number of bike versus car incidents is still too high. Whether it's distracted drivers or lack of facilities or lack of education and work to decrease that. City officials are working to keep riders like Jim Detchen safe on the roads. I'm training for riding in the doll mac. He says while he's out on this year's weekend bicycle tour, safety is his number one priority. We are just very cautious. You notice we have this bell. Okay. We have lights on the front and the back so people can see. Uh, my, my helmet is pretty, uh, pretty bright and uh, uh, we often will wear vests that are fluorescent so people can see us. Jeff Carrick with the League of Michigan Bicyclists says his group worked with the state lawmakers to create more protections for people on bikes. We pushed for and got a three foot passing law um, passed in the state of Michigan, which basically states motor vehicle drivers are required to give three feet between the widest portion of their motor vehicle and the widest portion of the bicyclist when they pass. Carrick says riders and drivers need to help each other, make sure they both make it home safe. We need to let everybody know our intentions. We need to signal our turns. We need to signal our stops and let everybody know what we are doing on the roadway. Lansing's Public Service Director says the city has added two miles of bike facilities per year since 2022 and says they're in the process of updating the city's walking and biking plan. I'm reporting live in Lansing, Tanaya Jordan, News 10. Tanaya, thank you. There were 24 bicycle fatalities in Michigan last year. In half of those cases, the rider was not wearing a helmet.